What? GPT 4.5 is coming next week? Are you kidding me? We haven't even finished roasting Google Gemini yet. Let's roast GPT 4.5 then. New AI episode. Let's dive in. Yesterday, we had news that OpenAI is planning on releasing GPT 4.5 end of December or early January. This leak came on Reddit, and as you can see here in the picture, on top of the URL, you see that it's OpenAI, and it is sort of a draft for a, for a web page that they are about to release. They say that GPT 4.5 is our most advanced model that brings multi-model capabilities across language, audio, vision, video, 3D, alongside with complex reasoning and cross-model understanding. If this is true, that means that GPT 4.5 will come with video capabilities, which makes it a multi-model, meaning it can handle any type of data available. And if we take a look at the pricing, we see that it's 6 cents for 1,000 tokens for input and 18 cents for 1,000 tokens for output. This is insanely expensive. Might need to sell a kidney or something to be able to develop a model using such a pricey API. To give you a little bit of context on how insanely expensive this is when i was playing with gpt4 api which was me playing around for about two hours i ended up with about 500 dollar bill gpt4.5 is 12 times more expensive than gpt4 i want to tell you a little joke on the side as you can see here rob has proven that chat gpt has performed significantly worse when it was told that it is december compared when it was told it is may and basically this takes us back to the language and the data that it is learning from. Basically, it has learned that in December, people get super lazy and they go on holiday. And that's why it was giving shorter answers to questions compared uh, when it was told it's May. So here you have a secret for ChatGPT. Whenever it's acting up and it's giving you shorter answers, just tell it it's May, not December. And you're gonna get a better response. Jokes aside, once the rumor of GPT 4.5 went across the internet, Google has announced that Gemini Pro API will be available Available as of today even though that they have mentioned in their event that this is going to be available early January here we have a leaked email from flowers from the future and by the way this is an, an account on Twitter and yes I still call it Twitter I do not call it X this account has leaked an email as you can see here saying that in response to the speculations of GVT 4.5 a strategic decision has been made to expedite the activation of Gemini API effective as of today this proactive measure aims to mitigate any unforeseen consequences and reinforce our position in light of emerging advancements. So as you can see, the moment the rumor started to go around, basically Google has expedited bringing the Gemini Pro to the market. So it doesn't take from the hype that's happening around Google Gemini. But what's very interesting and funny at the same time that Google made Gemini Pro almost free. As you can see here, they made it free up to 60 queries per minute. And if you're familiar with the developer community, that's almost 90% of developers are not gonna need more than 60 queries per minute. Basically, once you start going above this, you pay 0.00025 cents, or God knows like quarter of a quarter of a cent per thousand tokens. And honestly, while we've been roasting Google Gemini for the past few days, for this price, to be honest, it's unbeatable. They're trying to gain momentum by any chance. Looks like they're gonna start spending some of this money that they've been saving for the past 20 years. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel, and if you're into AI and would love to hear more from AI entrepreneurs and how they made millions from artificial intelligence, check out the description for my podcast link. There we talk to AI founders and entrepreneurs. And last thing I wanna cover for you today is, is the last interview for Sam Altman with The Times since he was announced at the CEO of the year and when he was asked about what was going on in OpenAI that's what he said. Honestly it's been a crazy whole year like in the context of everything that has happened to us this last three weeks or a month or whatever it's been it stands out but not as much as you would think it should. We, we kind of like went from this unknown research lab to this like reasonably well-known tech company in a year and I think that takes most companies like 10 years and that's been a wild experience to live through. Um, of course, these last few weeks have been particularly crazy uh, and sort of like painful and exhausting and happy to like be back to work. 
Um, to say something like empathetic, uh, I think everybody involved in this, as we get closer and closer to super intelligence, um, everybody involved gets more stressed and more anxious and we realize the stakes are higher and higher. And I think that all exploded. As you can see, after Sam Altman, in most of his interviews, was talking about AGI or artificial general intelligence, now he's talking about super intelligence. And if this quick clip is telling us anything, it's just confirming the fact that AGI or artificial general intelligence was achieved internally and currently we're in the era of super intelligence and basically bringing models bringing autonomous agents to the market it's just a matter of time as you can see here jimmy apples tweeted back in september 2018 that agi has been achieved internally and then sam altman tweeted four days after saying sure 10x engineers are cool but damn those 10,000 x engineers researchers he was basically talking about artificial general intelligence and don't make fun of me of bringing you news from an account called Jimmy Apples. He, ha he has predicted GPT-4 and Google Gemini with 100% precision. So that was a quick bite for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next week with more AI news.